Ciao, this is Mark Marcantonio. So now that you've gotten uh, software update version 25.1 uploaded to your uh, your HDS units, in my case I have a Pro 16 and a Pro 12, and I've also got dual Active Target 2, so I have two Active Target 2 boxes, and I have the uh, 3D structure scan also on my boat that I updated with 25.1. So the question is, how do I verify that the 25.1 uh, actually took and that all my units are properly updated? And that's what I'm going to show you here. So I've got my HDS Pro 16 right here. The quickest way to check to see if this got updated to 25.1 is to press the Pages button. I'll press that once. I'll hit the gear for settings, and then I'll scroll up to About and hit the About page. And you see here, my HDS Pro 16 is on version 25.1, so that's good. Okay, now how about my active targets and my 3D structure scan? You don't see those on this screen. So the quickest way and to verify it is to go over here to where it says Support. And I'll touch Support. And then you can see here it says Check System for Updates. We'll hit Check System for Updates. There, I've hit check system for updates. Now, all the devices that are on my network that are powered on show up here. And you can see my Structure Scan 3D is updated to 25.1.70. My, let's go down, scroll up. And my active, one of my active target twos on 25.1. Here again, you can see my Structure Scan 3D on 25.1. Here's my other Active Target 2 on 25.1. And here's my HDS Pro 12 that's at my console on version 25.1. So you can see what your point one is at, your um, EP35 temperature sensor, and all the other things. My I've got digital Evinrude I-Command gauges. I can see what version they're all on. And... Uh, so that's the quickest way to see what updates you've got loaded onto all of your different pieces of hardware. So I hope that helps you understand how to check and verify your software updates did take. If you look in there and you see that a software is not of the current version, then the best thing to do is to reload it again and try again and then verify again. And by the way, I recommend doing a hard reset after uploading your software on your units. Do a hard, I'm going to do a hard reset on both of my pro units. And I have a video on my YouTube channel about how to do that. And after I do the hard reset, then I'm going to reprogram all of my overlay data on each of my screens just like I like it. And an easy way to remember what overlay data you had on all of your screens is to take your camera uh, or your uh, phone camera and take pictures of every page. Then you'll remember exactly what you had programmed before so that you don't get out on the water and find that you forgot to program something that's important. So then after I do this hard reset and I, I put the overlay data on all of my pages, then I'm going to save my settings because at that point, my HDS units are clean. All of the broken data chains have been eliminated when I did the hard reset. I've got the screens all set up the way I like to have them set up. Then I will go ahead and, and save my settings and save them on my computer. Then if I have any issues at any point, and I need to do a hard reset to clear them up, I can do that without worrying about having all of my, my data lost. I can just simply reload my settings and all of my settings will be back the way they are. You don't want to save your settings until just after having done a hard reset and, re and restoring all of the overlay data the way you want. Because if you save one before you do the hard reset, you're also saving all of the problems and bugs that may be existing on your HDS units. So those are some good tips for you. Again, I've got videos on my YouTube channel that show you how to do all of this, when, where, and how to do your, your save your settings, how to do hard resets. Just look them up and that should help you. Please do me a favor and like and subscribe to my channel so that you don't ever